I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. Man, that looks a million times better and only takes a few minutes to swap out. So this is the original style from the CR125. It's kind of old school looking, you know, 2000 style. And I'll be converting it over to a 2019 CRF style. So you need the number plate and fender obviously. Oops. And a bracket. And all you have to do is drill a few holes in the fender. So pretty simple stuff. Now there's a couple different styles you can choose from here when converting your front end all the way from 2010 up to 2020. So there's three different styles and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So this is the 2018 to 2020 style right here. This is my favorite. I think they fit the cleanest together. There's no gap between the number plate and the fender. And now we have the 2014 to 2016 style, a little bit different than the 18 to 20, but uh, still looks really good. And last up, we have the 2010 to 2012 style. So whatever style you choose, you gotta use a matching number plate and fender. You can see where they meet up is different on all of them. So for example, if you're gonna use a 2010 number plate, you want a 2010 fender as well. And make sure you stay tuned for the entire video. I'll be doing a giveaway on everything required to restyle the front end of your CR. And just for clarification, this conversion works on CR125s and 250s from 2000 to 2007. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've got the old fender and number plate off the bike. Let's go ahead and check out what we need to do to the new style fender to get it mounted up. So you can see the mounting holes are quite a bit different from the two. The newer style has a little bit of a step up. So we'll need to redrill the holes on this one. And luckily, I've got a template here to make this easy for you guys. So just mock it up there and we'll get started. Now before we do anything else, we'll need to take our fender washers and install them upside down. So with the flange on the bottom side of the fender, put these in the rear holes of the fender. And then make sure you have two of your fender bolts handy. Line up the template with the front facing the front of the fender. Take your fender bolts and push them through the rear holes. And then take something sharp like a punch or a pointy screwdriver, line them up with the four dots on the fender, and then give that punch a little tap with a hammer. Go ahead and do that to all four, pull the template off, and then we'll have four dots that we can easily see. That way we know where to drill. Now we're gonna grab an eighth inch drill bit to drill through those holes. We're just gonna drill a small hole right now to use as a pilot hole. Then we're gonna step up to a 3 8 inch drill bit. Now you can see how close the rear holes are gonna to be to the existing holes. That can be a little bit tricky, so you can either just go for it with a 3 8 and kind of uh, just slot this existing hole, or I'm gonna try going in between with a quarter inch size drill bit. I'm gonna step it up to 5 16 so that way I'm just slowly working towards that 3 8 Now we're ready to step up to the 3 8 If you want, you can kinda of go ahead and clean this up with a knife. And now we can just put the old fender washers back in place. And now the fender is ready to go on the bike. So this process with the drilling is gonna be the same exact for any fender from 2010 up to 2020. The fender mounts just like the original one and you want to make sure you use the original washers on the back to cover up those slotted holes. That front fender is looking mighty fine on there, mounted up really nicely. Now for the front number plate, I'll go ahead and show you how we're going to go about mounting this thing up on here. Alright, so the CRF number plate uses two mounting holes, one on either side, whereas the original number plate bolts up in the center of the triple clamp right there. So obviously this is gonna need some modification. Now what I've done in the past is just run a zip tie around the triple clamp through that hole. Hasn't held up the best, it's kind of ghetto, not really the greatest solution, but I do have a more permanent solution here. 
It's a bracket that bolts on right here and allows you to just straight up bolt the number plate on. So pretty much like a factory part. And this is that bracket I'm talking about. So just slips on like so. Fits right over the triple clamp hole like that. Fits really snugly on there. And then you've got two threaded holes on either side of the bracket to uh, bolt that number plate up. So pretty trick setup. Pretty simple deal. Just bolt that bracket on using the center original hole, just like that. Nice and tight on there. Now, if you're gonna be using a Psycho Stadium plate like the one I have here, you'll notice that it zip ties around the fork, which is awesome, but there's also some stuff you gotta be careful about. So on this bike, I never protected the fork. You can see it wore into the anodizing a little bit. So you'll either want to use a piece of clear vinyl to wrap around the fork to protect it, or Psyker actually makes a little rubber pad that goes behind the number plate right here where it rides on the fork. In a pinch, you can even use some clear packaging tape. I don't have any clear vinyl right now, so I'm just gonna have to use that for now. And now the number plate just mounts up like a factory part. Now another thing I really like about the Psycho Stadium plate is it has its own brake line guide. So it just has this little piece that clips in like so and holds the brake line in place. And then you just take a zip tie, secure the plate to the fork and we're all done. Man, it's crazy how much of a difference just a number plate and fender make on a bike. This thing looks like a completely different bike now. And one thing I was gonna say with the 18 to 20 style, it fits really good right here, the seam. The other styles you end up with a little gap here, not a huge deal, but in my opinion, this style fits the best. Everything clears fine back here with the pipe and the radiator guards, no rubbing at all. So yeah, just a really clean setup. Now this bike is a 2005 and 2004 to 2007 uses a little different style bracket compared to the older bikes. So this is the newer style bracket. If you have a 2000 to 2003, this is the style bracket that you want. Let's go see what it looks like on my 03. So I have a 2019 Sierra front fender and plate on this bike as well. It just uses a little different style bracket though. That one right there. Now when you buy a bracket, you get all the mounting bolts required, the fender template I showed earlier, and mounting instructions. So pretty complete setup. Also these brackets are made of stainless steel, pretty thick material, so they're not gonna break or bend on you, nor are they gonna rust. Also, they're made in the good old US of A, America. So I'll drop a link down below to where you can buy the brackets, and if you're needing a front fender and number plate as well, I'll also link the cheapest place to find those. Now, if you want to modernize your bike a little bit further, what you can do is the Polisport Restyle Kit. It makes the bike look like a 2019. That's what I have on this bike here. Pretty cool looking kit. I'll link that down below as well. And on the 125, this is the original plastic style, which I think looks pretty good as well. But one thing you can do to modernize it a little bit, one thing I did on my old 125, I'll actually put a picture on the screen right now of that, I trimmed the number plates down a little bit. So started right here, kind of trimmed down like that. Just got rid of the uh, back portion so this flows a little better. I might do it on this bike, not quite sure yet, but just an idea for you guys. Now if you don't run a Psycho plate, the bottom is gonna be a little bit loose. But what you can actually do See these two holes in here? You can run a bolt down through those existing holes in the fender here and throw a nut on the bottom side and that'll secure it. So the 10 to 16 plates, I believe you can do that. And then for the 18 to 20 plate, they have this little locating tab that uh, goes into the fender and that'll keep the bottom of the number plate secure. Now I promised you guys a giveaway, so what I want you guys to do is go down below in the comment section and comment Prime, that's P-R-Y-M-E. I'm gonna pick one of your comments and I will completely refund your order on Prime MX if you order a bracket, 
and anything else in the store. I carry t-shirts, hats, stickers, cleaning pads, um, obviously the brackets, but in the next five days, I'll pick one of your comments and completely refund your order. And I'll also send you this fender and number plate so you can get your bike looking just as good as this one. So go down below, comment prime, order up a bracket along with anything else you want on the store and enter to win that all that for free plus these as well. The only stipulation, I gotta keep it in the US. These are kind of big to ship overseas. So uh, just keep that in mind. Well, that's it for today. Appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this video helped with modernizing your CR. I'll see you all in a video coming soon. Keep it prime.